Giancarlo Stanton. Okay, so welcome back. This week, I'm going to go back into the scribbling world, but we're going to produce this uh, hack, cheat, quick, easy way, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to say fun, easy, quick way. But eventually, we'll be making this. It takes two seconds once you know what to do. Open After Effects and create a new comp. I've already done it. Drag and drop in your clip of where you want to add in the scribble effect or glow effect or whatever you want to call it. So I have this baseball player hitting a ball pretty fast. You can't even see it. It's like a blur, but you can see it come in, hit the bat and then go back out. Perfect. Now to add in the scribble effect, I went onto the internet and downloaded this scribble effect pack. And essentially, all I did is I went through and found the ones, the effects that I want. So once you have that, find the ones that you want and drag and drop them into the scene. Now you can't really see what, I, what you're doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off every single one and work my way up. So get rid of the green screen. So to do that, type in key light, drag and drop key light on top and use the picker tool to key out the green. Perfect, it's just that simple. Then for this one, move it into place. I want this to happen, this explosion to start happening once his bottom foot moves into place. So he lifts it up and there. So right, about, roughly around here actually. So we move this into place so we get this effect. There you go. Perfect. Then repeat the steps for however many scribble effects that you have. Okay, and the final thing I want to do is when this blue line comes in, wishing effect comes over, it, I want it to come around and under this leg here. So duplicate the original video layer and place it on without moving it. Place it on top. Perfect. Then grab the pen tool and draw a quick mask around it. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to put a feather on it. And then open the mask, feather it out slightly, and then right click, track mask. And then track it forward a few frames. Then track it backwards a few frames. There you go, perfect. Now we just need to add the glow effect to give it a pop. So go into effects and presets panel and grab my favorite effect, which is glow. Drag and drop this onto one of the effects. For the first glow effect, we're going to change the glow threshold to 47 and the glow intensity to two. Then like the other tutorial, we're going to duplicate this and just change the threshold on this one to 70 to bring back some of the blue. And that's it. You just need to copy these effects into the other ones. And you're done. I mean, much more easier than the other way. So much faster. John Carlos in the comments, guys. Next week, I think I'm going to do something similar. But as always, I'm here every week. So hit the subscribe button. Smash the like button if you like this. And as always, stay inspired.